We all love a good hack and bodge, there's loads you can do on your e-bike, be it on the side of the trail or at home in your workshop or your garage. I've got a few favourites, I'm going to run through them today with you. A good bit of maintenance for your e-bike is replacing those gear cables, especially the inner gear cable. It's the smaller one out of the two, but it can become a bit of a nightmare when it starts to fray. We're all familiar looking down at that rear derailleur and seeing that frayed uh, inner cable hanging out of it. But a nice way to smarten that up is just pinch that cable and actually wind it around nice clockwise, pinching it as you go. You'll find that all those frayed bits of the inner cable will actually go nicely all back into one. Just got to put an end cap on it and it's going to stay smart for ages. We're all guilty of using a zip tie on our e-bikes. I know I am, I use them for holding on mud guards, cable guides, things like that. We've all probably experienced being cut by those zip ties when it comes to picking that bike up or riding. It's a nice little hack is get to your bathroom, steal a set of the uh, nail clippers out of there. When it comes to cutting those zip ties, it just allows you to put a nice curved end on there, not a razor sharp edge. That way you're not gonna cut yourself. It's a nice little hack. So I've got a nice little hack for you if you're a full face user out on the trails and you like to ride in a lot of mud. Doing a bit of recycling here, got a bit of Maxxis packaging, basically a big flap. You can make either a mud guard out of this, but a nice little hack is to add it to the visor on your full face helmet. Just adding that little bit more to the front of it. Basically all it's gonna do is extend that peak. And when it's really muddy, you've got all that mud flying down and usually hitting you in your goggles but having that extra bit of uh, cover is going to stop all that mud raining down on you. It's going to keep your goggles nice and clean next time you're out for a ride in all that slop. So I've just wiped this off my boss's desk. It's full of cool things, like even just like a paper clip. We all know when we're working on that drivetrain of the bike, we're trying to join that chain up. It can be pulling on the derailleur, things can fly around when it's all under tension. What this does is just makes a nice little third hand. So basically, you can slide those two hooks between the links, slide that other one through. It's just going to hold that chain nice and together, leaving your hands free to work, putting that quick link back in, working on your drain edge, just things like that. Just relieves all that tension out of that chain. So I've spent many minutes of my riding trying messing around trying to join up chains. Quick link is meant to make your life a lot easier and sometimes it does. Obviously this little third hand hack makes it easier but a nice little hack for joining that chain quickly rather than trying to pull it apart, uh, join it, just pedal it around. So the quick link's here, just going to watch it go to the top of the uh, chain. It's going to make a little noise as it goes through because it's not connected properly. All I'm going to do is just hold that back wheel, and push that crank just like the back brake's on. And you'll hear it crack together once it's done. You ready? There you go. That saves you messing around trying to join that. And that's nice joined together. Pedaling nice and smooth now. Happy days. Everyone loves a good takeaway now and then. What they do come in is these nice little containers, basically designed just for you to chuck in the bin after. What they do double up as is a nice little parts washing bin. So you can stick any part you've got in there, get the greaser, soak it totally in there, leave it to soak, get to work on it with a stiff brush, get it all cleaned up, it's not flying everywhere. Once it's all nice and clean, give it a good soak off. You just chuck it in the bin once you're done. It's a really nice way of recycling those tires, making them more use for your e-bike once they're perished or split. It's by making them into a down tube or battery cover protector. Basically cutting a bit of section out of the tire, adding it to the down tube, just protects that down tube from getting rock strikes, things like that. It's just gonna add that little bit more protection. Let's take a look at how we do that now. So all I've done is just trim that tire down, nice and short bit of section. That's just gonna add that to the down tube, covering that battery, and then zip tie that on, and anything that basically fires up off that front wheel, be it rocks, things like that, it's going to add that little bit more protection to my bike. One thing I love doing is keeping all my old broken bike parts in my workshop at home. My wife often asks me, what the hell am I going to do with all my old stuff? The answer to that is, you never know when you're going to need a little cable clamp, a pivot bolt, things like that. For instance, on this mech, 
the jockey wheels are nice and fresh. On this one, they're all worn out. So I can replace these jockey wheels with this one, put this one in my riding pack, and I've got a fresh new mech, well, a half fresh new mech, ready for when I need it, one that's gonna work on my bike, making one out of two broken parts. Always a good move, you never know when you're gonna need it. So we all love putting stickers on our e-bikes, I know I do. Some of you might have brought a new one and had some manufacturers stickers, warning labels, things that you can peel off if you so want to. But sometimes they leave a horrible sticky residue, so as soon as you're riding or any dirt will just stick to them. So I suggest just squirting a bit of WD-40 on there, to rub that down nice and gently. Obviously, just be really careful not to contaminate anything like brake pads, things like that, and just go careful with it, because it's obviously very flammable too. A nice way, just scrub that stuff in, let it soak if it's really stubborn, work away, and I guarantee you that gunk's gonna disappear. So inner tubes, loads of hacks and bodges that we can do with faithful inner tube. Don't see so many of them around now, a lot of guys are running tubeless, but I guarantee your new bike will have tubes in from the factory. So whip them out, convert them to tubeless, and you've got loads of these just lying around doing nothing. So some I prepared earlier, we can use basically cutting the valve and the lock ring out of the old tube. We can create our own tubeless valve set. So basically you don't need to go buy an expensive tubeless valve, just cut that out, Place that in your, in, in your valve hole in the rim. There you go, cheap valve, uh, tubeless valves. Another one we can create just by snipping it around in short sections. Loads of little elastic bands, things you can put in your riding pack, on your bike, just hold things on, little tiny ones there. Any thickness you want, just obviously cut it to how you want it. And obviously we can't be without the chain protector too. So on the back of the bike, the chain's gonna be flapping around, causing a lot of noise on that chainstay. Just add in a small bit of inner tube and zip tying it around that chainstay is gonna quieten the back end of that bike down dramatically. We all know that feeling of working on your bike, trying to undo those rounded out bolts can be a bit of a nightmare. You've got the right tool in there, but it's simply isn't undoing, it's just getting no purchase on that bolt whatsoever. What I do suggest you find is a Torx key. Obviously a Torx key is a star style key, so you've got a lot more purchase into the metal, a few more contact points in the regular Allen key. Just ensure it's a really close fit, you might have to tap it slightly to get it in. This one is actually pretty good fit. If I can feel straight away I've got more purchase in there, hopefully using this Torx key, it's gonna give me that bit more purchase. Yeah, there you see, just gonna undo once you've got that undone, just spin it out and work on your bike with a smile on your face. So I've been working on my bike all evening, my hands are all covered in grime. All I'm going to do is just get a bit of hand cleaner on my hands. And all you can do is add a little bit of salt or sugar to that mix as well. Just a tiny little pinch just makes it more of a grinding paste. Obviously if you've got any cuts, things like that, just be aware that's gonna sting a bit. But just get that worked in, nice. Give it a good work in, add a little bit more if you don't feel you've got enough. Just keep an eye on that um, oil on your hands. I can feel that nicely grinding in. Just burn all that oil off, rinse it off. And there we go. Nice clean hands. I don't have to buy a load of expensive specialist hand cleaner. So there you go, that's some of my favorite workshops, bodges and hacks. We've also got trail side hacks and bodges as well, getting you out of trouble on the side of the trail too. If you haven't checked out that video, that one's up here. We've also got how to winterize your e-bike. That one's down here too, a real cool video, getting that bike ready for winter. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to EMBN. Drop us some comments on all your hacks and bodges in the box below and we'll see you in the next one.